Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing my weekly wax melting basket and this week is oldies week. Um, so this is to pick your oldest wax that you have in your collection pretty much. Um, I did think about just pulling a vendor like Catherine does, but I have so much wax that I want to work on from various vendors. So um, let's get started. I don't know why I picked so much. I am not going to be home a lot this week, but here we are. I just got so excited to start pulling stuff that I really wanted to get through. So here we are. Um, I have this giant pile of wax behind me and yeah, let's see what I get through. I also have things that are just like barely, um, you know, just like these two little things here. So this one is Exploding Pumpkins and it's from Empire Alchemy Blueberry Cobbler Cranberry Muffins Vanilla Chai Toasted Pumpkin Crunch. Um, I'm not going to be home a lot this week, so I am going to bring um, a tea light and maybe a hot plate warmer to me with me to work to see if I can get through some of this because I'm just not going to be home enough to melt some. I'll, I mean, I will melt some at home while I'm here, but it's just going to be far and few between. So next is Make Up Your Mind from Birdie's Making Sense. I think this is renamed Hannah's Baby. This is strawberry, white cake, and zucchini bread. We have Waxidents. This is a custom I did. Um, so this is like October 2020. So 2020 is when I started um, in the wax world, really. Um, so this is pretty much from the beginning. Bubblegum, grape soda, cream soda. Um, we have one little coffee bean from Birdies in Sip Happens, French roast coffee, Turkish hazelnut, and sweet cream. And I apologize for my appearance, guys. I literally just like woke up, put my hair up, and here we are. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a custom that I did with K-scented wax melts. And this is lavender, spring apricot, love spell, and pink chiffon. I have some woof wicks. This one's twisted tails, apple, cinnamon pie, and pretzel bites. And this is um, like the little... What does she call them? I don't know. They look like little cut up brittle pieces like that. It smells okay. I don't I don't think I would repurchase this one, but we'll see. I haven't melted this one in a while. And then I had purchased this like really big tub of um, Hufflepuff and it's Snickerdoodle, Vanilla, Sugar Petal, Cedarwood, Musk, and Coconut Donuts. This is such an interesting, beautiful scent, but it's very strong in the past when I melted it. So I don't need much and I have this huge cup of it. So I'm going to work on that. I don't think I'll get through it, but we'll try. I have Floofs and Frights from Woof Wicks and I don't know the scent notes on this and I really can't figure out what it's supposed to smell like but it's like a cute little skull shape sorry if you can hear a dog barking outside a custom I did with Nana makes sense um December 2020 Palo Santo vanilla bean noel and espresso and I try and work on that Nana makes sense in Johnny and baby this was somebody's um idea Oh, it smells good. Oh, I can't wait to melt that. I don't even know what that is. It smells delicious. Maybe like fizzy pop or something. Uh, one of my favorites from Empire Alchemy is Sea Witch, and it's a custom blend by Lola Gray. Black Sea, Salty Sea Air, and Pink Sugar. This is what got me onto my Black Sea kick. It is incredible. I love it so much. I have a few pieces left from Empire in Clouds and Tiffany's Coffee. This is also one of my favorite scents. It's Clouds in My Coffee, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, and Soft Salted Pretzels. So I just have a few pieces left there. Um, this is a custom that my friend Danny made me, Danny Divinations, from Made to Melt. And this is the only thing I think I have from Made to Melt, and it's incredible. Um, this is Blackberry Sugared Violets and Sweet on Paris. It was this gigantic, beautiful heart with purple flowers and a gold um, butterfly. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I cannot wait to melt this. I want, I just want to live in this bag. It smells so good. 
Okay, if you guys have never done Bunny Sisters, their custom loaves are huge. Like, I've used some of this, but like, it, this is like the most giant bag ever. Um, this is Blue Bunny and Sweet Dreams, which is blue sugar, cotton candy frosting, vanilla ice cream, bedtime bath, lavender, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. So, I really, I really need to work on this. I really do, because it's just ginormous. Birdie's making sense. This is from December 2020. Happiness starts with with your soul, S-O-L-E, and then it's in the shape of these little high heels, and it's grape and cotton candy frosting. This smells delicious. I don't know why I haven't melted it. I pulled that in my basket a couple times, and I don't know. I just have never gotten to it. I don't really like this custom that I made with wax it -ins. It just smells really weird to me. It's Jack Frost, Lemongrass, and Stormwatch. This is also when I first started getting into wax, so I didn't know what any of those Smell like this smells really bizarre. <laughs> I don't I don't want to gift it to anybody because it's like it's not right. But um we'll finish that hopefully. Okay, we have jump scare from Empire Alchemy. Um I gifted half of this waffle to a friend because I don't like popcorn, but I'm just gonna finish this. It's movie theater butter, caramel gooey, marshmallow rich woods, and hints of whiskey. I don't know why I didn't just give her the whole thing. Maybe I thought, well, I really want to try it and see if I like it. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's just if I don't like it, it's not that much. Um, Birdie's making sense in Bear Claws Palo Santo. This is from September 2020. I don't know if you guys care about the dates. But I just thought I'd share it if it was on there. This smells really delicious. I don't know why I haven't melted that one yet. Nana makes sense in Christmas in July. This is from July 2020. This smells good. It smells kind of sweet and fresh. I don't know what that is, but I feel like somebody was just talking about this scent. Was it Danny here on YouTube? Possibly. Cherry chip waffle cone from Empire Alchemy. Fresh baked cherry chip cake, vanilla ice cream, white fudge, and waffle cone. So I've only used half of a donut, it looks like. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I like cherry scents sometimes, but my boyfriend doesn't. Um, Ghoul Aid from Woof Wix. This was in a bakery bag, so I rebagged it into this bag here. This is blackberry, pumpkin, apple, oranges, and cinnamon. Um, it kind of smells like a, like a cinnamony fruit punch. Um, so we'll see the, the shapes in here are super cute. Hold on one second. Guys. Okay. Sorry. I'm back. I had to restart the video because my boyfriend had texted me and I accidentally actually clicked on it. <laughs> um, I was just trying to read it, but anyways, back we're back to, we have Nana's Nana makes sense in spring fling carnations, pink sugar, boardwalk, marshmallow clouds. Also somebody's, um, customer creation. It smells pretty good. It smells kind of like chocolate, which is weird. Purple Nurple from um, Rose Girls. I don't know if this is a Lush dupe or something. I feel like it might be, but it kind of smells grapey to me. I don't know if that's just the color, but it smells kind of grapey. This is one of my first bags that I ever bought from Rose Girls, which is saying something that's been in my collection for a while, and it is on the ground. It is a fresh baked bread. Um, I think I'm going to mix this, even though I only have two little pieces of ooey gooey caramel from Rose Girls. I know that probably seems like overkill, but I'm just going to do a little bit of each and see if that smells really good together. Okay. <clears throat> Nana makes sense in cotton candy. I had put two bags together in this one, which is why it's like so packed full. I really like her cotton candy. I just don't get great throw from it anymore, so hopefully, um, maybe if I use a little bit more, I'll get a better throw, but hers reminds me of the Cotton Candy Body Spray from Body Fantasies. It smells really delicious. And then her Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds from October 2020. Okay, Lemon Snowdrop Cookies. I don't really like Lemon Bakery, but I think I might be coming around to it, so I have a cupcake that's like chopped up to use. Hopefully we'll get to that. Peached whale. It smells like peaches to me. I don't know the set notes, but it smells really good. Christmas cookie ice cream scoop rub from Nana Makes Sense, December 2020. Um, I think this was a sample that she included in one of my orders, but it's quite big, so 
I'll put that in a hot plate. Okay, Bite Me. This was in a um, Big Kahuna from Rose Girls. It has like, um, almost looks like dentures <laughs> on the top of the loaf. Little dentures. Yeah, it's like fruity. I'm not sure if Bite Me, Bite Me is my favorite, but um, that should be enough to go around quite a few warmers. Blooper Beach. Don't have the scent notes. This one's actually not that old in comparison to some other stuff in my collection that's old. I don't know why I pulled it. But this is from um, April 2021, so it's only a year old. I don't know. It's very um, floral. We shall see if I get to that one. I might, I might swap this one out for something else because it isn't as old as a lot of other stuff. Um, sugar Cookie Palo Santo Pink Sugar. This is a custom I, ma I made with Nana Makes Sense Jan January 2021. Um, this, I think, is from the end of 2020. This is Hot Cocoa from With Envy in a loaf. Um, yeah, I still have quite a bit to work on in here. And if, I'm, if I want something really sweet, this is definitely it. This smells delicious. So good. Okay, I picked so much. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> I don't know. L3 Waxy Wonders. This is a, um, something that I had requested that she blend together. This is Better Than Sex Cake, Hot Cocoa, Coffee Cake, and Toasted Mallow in a Scoopable. Oh my gosh, this smells like powdered hot cocoa mix. It's heavenly. And it's like extra rich with the um, Better Than Sex Cake. Oh my gosh, it's so, so good. It's yummy. And then banana brown sugar kolaches. Freshly sliced bananas, sweet brown sugar, and flaky buttery pastries. This is incredible. This smells so, so good. And I think I have a scoopable of just the kolaches now, so I can mix that with, you know, whatever I want. This is really, really yummy, though. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's bust through these. I still have this whole basket. Ooh. Okay. This needs to be rebagged, and I keep telling myself to rebag it, and I don't. So let's just put it in the melting basket because I'm not responsible enough. Blended with Love, um, which is now the Starlit Corner. This is something I got from my friend Danny Divinations. This is called Mulan Pomegranate, Pink Sugar, Raspberries, and Warm Vanilla Sugar. And it's just like one of those, like, you know, fold over bags. And it looks like this. It still smells really good, thankfully. <laughs> Because it's literally been open for like a year. <laughs> so, we have that guy. Um, a little chunk of a pie left from Birdie's Making Sense in Chocolate Cream Pie Salted Caramel. Um, scarab, I think that's how you say it. Empire Alchemy Dried Figs, Honey Pink Sugar, Toasted Pistachios, Vanilla Sugar, and White Cake. I have one waffle left. Rose Girls ras Strawberry Raspberry Guava. I don't think I told you guys, but Rose Girls, I think, was the first vendor I purchased from. I think it was Rose Girls, Savannah Blue, and then the Melted Moose. Or maybe it was Rose Girls, Melted Moose, Savannah Blue. I can't remember, but that's... I'm pretty sure Rose Girls was the first one I ordered from. I had ordered, like, she had these, like, samplers, which I haven't seen her do in quite some time. But it was, like, you get, like, those just, like, the little tiny packs of mini melters. And I did, and it came with, like, I don't know, like, 10 cents or something like that to try. Yeah, strawberry raspberry guava. That smells really, really good. So I have that. Probably will mix these with stuff. Vanilla Supreme from Rose Girls. Simo, this is from September 2020, Honey Almond Cookie. This is still like her old label, but they're these cute little like pies. Cinnamon Bun Cream Cheese Frosting Simo from August 2020. I don't think I liked the cinnamon scent, but we have some left. And it's like, like I said in one of my other videos, like who wants like cut up wax like that? I don't know. I just feel like that's rude to send to somebody so instead of throwing it away and like wasting it which I would never do because I am such a hoarder and I can't let go of anything um I'm gonna use it um brown sugar apple bread from Simo September 2020 this one actually smells really delicious I'm excited to see if that still froze for me 
um, Cuddle Up from Simo and these cute little washboards. I don't know if she still does these washboards, but they're adorable. It smells like hot laundry. Yeah, it smells like, I don't, I, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know. It has this like weird bitter note. I wonder if this is like white clouds or something. I don't know. I don't like it. Black raspberry marshmallow in this beautiful brittle. Oh my gosh, like look how stunning this is. This is from September 2020. Still smells really good. That's a nice big chunk for me to use too. Yeah, I got so excited pulling all this old wax that I got I went way too hardcore. Shaving cream from September 2020 from Simo in a little pie. I think I got this in a D stash. Irish cream cannoli. Um, May 2019. Yeah, because I wasn't even doing wax then. From Simo. Um, I think Tara Lynn sent this to me. Um, mm, maybe this was actually Angie. I'm not sure. Um, the Bunny Sisters. Never sleep again. This is really, really yummy. I feel like this is like a cinnamon sugar donut scent. I'm pretty sure. Um, Vintage Chic Scents, November 2020, Luna Love Goods Clotted Cream. Clotted cream, ice cream, swirled with lemon curd. I actually think this one smells really good. Yeah, this one's really, really yummy. I don't know if she's offered this since then. This lemon curd is delicious, though. You don't see a lot of clotted cream, either. Scarlet and Rhett Bear Claws Vanilla Custard Pie Crust, November 2020. This is from a souffle as well. Um, White Cow from Salt Mountain. This is one of my first purchases I made with them. Vanilla Shake Vanilla Wafers Maraschino Cherry, October 2020. Five Families from Vintage Chic, November 2020. Rich Cannoli Cake Frosted with Whipped Cream, Sugar Cookie Crumble, and Crushed Vanilla Wafers. That sounds delicious. I only use that much of it. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. Um... Sugary Shop from Woof Wicks. This is cotton candy clothespins. This smells incredible. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I need more of this. Okay, and then I have some scent shot cups here. This is the Raven from Woof Wicks. I have two scent shot cups here. This is like a coffee, I don't know if it's like a smoky coffee scent. Um, we have Patches. I don't know if this is maybe like a pumpkin pecan waffles. Maybe. I don't know. It's something kind of like fall-esque though. It smells pretty good. Tooth Decay, pumpkin pecan waffles, fruity pebbles, and graham crackers from Woof Wicks. Yeah, that smells delicious. I can't wait for that one. These will be perfect for my little warmer that I'm going to bring with me. The Tropics. Got this in a D-stash. The lid broke, so. Yeah, this is like a delicious pineapple scent. Here's the cute little label. Okay, and then, is this also? Oh, this is Zombie Snacks. I don't know what that is. It's kind of breakfasty. <laughs> okay. And then some K-scented melts. We have Greenhouse. This is like super green, like vegetational, humid, <clears throat> kind of like mossy. Woo, they got in my nose. Like this, this is crazy. This is crazy. Greenhouse. Smell of weather turning. It's kind of floral, almost garden minty. Um, turquoise. This smells, this smells really good. This smells like spa. I don't even know. I need to look up the scent notes on that one. Turquoise. That one smells really good. And then last one in my melting basket is lavender lemon. I love those two together. Yeah, that smells beautiful. So that is my entirely too big melting basket for this week. I wanted to get up for you guys because I know I'm just gonna be so busy this week. And so I just threw this all together and um, I will be really excited if I can get through at least some of this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a beautiful start to your week and we'll talk again soon. All right. Bye.